Now this is a system I picked up off Facebook Marketplace uh, the other day for £100. Now it's outside for a reason. Uh, that's not because of the uh, shameful components inside. Uh, it's actually quite a, a nicely specced PC, but we'll get into that later. It's actually outside because it's absolutely filthy. And until I give it a clean, that's the best place for it. But what we're going to do with this system is see what we've got here. Maybe throw a cheeky few upgrades at it and see what gaming performance we can get out of it before I sell it on. I hope you enjoy the video. My name's Andy and this is Andy's Tech. And yes, we've got another budget gaming PC video, uh, my speciality. Now, as previous, previously mentioned, uh, I picked this system up for £100 or Facebook Marketplace. Uh, it's a bit of a mystery system. Uh, it stated that it had an i3 uh, and not much else. 8GB uh, of RAM. And that's about all of the specs that, uh, that was listed on the, uh, the advertisement. Um, but I've kind of got a, a grasp of, of what systems like these have inside them. And being a PC specialist system... I've actually come across these before. Uh, so I decided to take a punt off it and uh, when I picked it up it was a lovely gentleman. Uh, his son's just upgraded his system and uh, yeah I'm actually really pleasantly surprised by what we have uh, in front of us here today. Uh, so now that it's had a, a dusting out, a well deserved dusting out, uh, let's get it inside and I can talk you through what we have here. Now PC Specialist is a company here in the UK uh, that makes uh, pre-built PCs. Uh, so it's technically a pre-built this uh, system. Uh, they're a little pricey. Uh, you can check out their website if you like. Uh, you, do play, you do pay slightly over the odds for one of their systems. All the systems I've had from, from them in the past have been well built and well put together. Now some of you might have spied uh, kind of what is already in this system. Uh, I'm not exactly sure what the case is. I think it's a Colink case of some description uh, with some PC specialist branding. Uh, but inside we have uh, an ASUS H310 uh, ATX motherboard. Uh, it's a bit of a strange board. It's uh, ATX uh, height ways, but it's MATX length ways. Uh, it's not a full ATX board. Uh, and being a H310 board, that means we're on the Intel 8th uh, and the 9th gen platform and um, we actually have a little i3 9100F in the system here today uh, this is a 4 core 4 thread CPU uh, with a base clock of 3.6 gigahertz and a turbo speed of 4.2 gigahertz uh, it's a good little chip uh, I purchased one of these uh, when they were released uh, in 2020 I think uh, so it's a few years old now. I mean, we're on Intel 13th gen, uh, but it's it's a strong little four core CPU. And uh, our four cores do struggle a bit uh, in 2023 uh, with some of those harder to run titles, but it should still be able to put up uh, a good fight. Now, you also may have noticed that there is a single uh, stick of RAM, uh, and that is an eight gigabyte stick of 3000 megahertz uh, Corsair Vengeance. Now this will only run at 2,400 megahertz, and being a H310 motherboard, we can't um, we can't use XMP profiles or anything like that. Uh, but this poor kid must have been struggling here uh, with a single chan single channel RAM configuration. Uh, his dad did say that he brought the system for him to play Flight Simulator on. Uh, now I'm no expert, but I'm kind of I'm kind of thinking Flight Simulator is going to struggle on this system. But it's definitely something we can uh, remedy. Uh, we have an M.2 slot as well, uh, so we can add an M.2 drive if needed. Uh, GPU wise, uh, you spied the GPU as well, I'm sure. We have a GTX 1650, uh, 4GB. Uh, it's the GDDR5 version. Uh, it's a good little uh, basic budget card. Uh, it does look a bit odd in this case. Uh, there's quite a lot of room around it. Uh, but it's it's still, as I said before, it's still an okay little card. Uh, should perform well in the eSports titles. Uh, power supply wise, we have a 350 watt Corsair unit. It's an 80 plus unit. Uh, it's a basic unit, but it will supply more than enough power uh, for the system here today. 
Now, there was one SATA cable uh, that I spied uh, earlier, and uh, I was kind of praying it was an SSD, uh, but unfortunately it is just a one terabyte uh, mechanical hard drive, uh, which is not great really. Uh, you don't want to be using a HDD as a boot drive uh, in 2023, uh, but with the prices of SSDs, uh, they're so cheap at the moment. You can pick up a 500 gigabyte drive uh, in the UK for about £18. Uh, I've seen them a bit lower as well. Uh, 256 gigabyte drives go, are going for about £12. So yeah, that's the system as it stands. Uh, but we're going to need to make a few little improvements to this. Uh, so let's talk through uh, what I'm going to do. Uh, so the first elephant in the room that we have to address, and it's not too obvious to be honest looking at the PC, uh, and that's the CPU cooler. Uh, now it's a PC specialist uh, own branded uh, one but it only has a three pin uh, power header uh, for the fan and it's actually running at like an intolerable 3000 RPM. So I'm just going to swap that out for a stock Intel, uh, stock Intel fan and then we should be able to control the fan speeds and uh, make it less audible. Uh, we are aiming to sell this system uh, so it has to look right and uh, sound right before I sell it on and that's a free and easy uh, swap to do. Uh, the next thing we need to address is the RAM. Uh, it currently has one 8GB stick of RAM. Uh, I'm not in the position to be selling people uh, single channel RAM gaming PCs uh, so we're just going to add another 8GB stick uh, in the system. Uh, I come across uh, quite a lot of systems with just one stick in so i tend to build up a, a supply of odd random sticks of ram uh, and i actually have the exact eight gigabyte stick to match it uh, so we're just going to add that and what's more it's uh, it's only cost me 10 pounds uh, i also have added a front uh, 120 millimeter fan uh, for some extra uh, air intake now this is a low powered system and it doesn't create a lot of heat uh, but just having a little bit of extra air pulled in at the front uh, will just make just make those temps uh, a little bit low and it will just help the system breathe more efficiently. Uh, so the last uh, thing I'm going to do to this system uh, is add a boot drive. Uh, so I'm going to be adding this 256 gigabyte M.2 uh, MNVME SSD. Uh, this cost me £17 new uh, and they're good good little uh, SSDs uh, these never had any problems with them and it will just really help uh, bring the system up to par in terms of performance boot times load times and 256 gigabytes is more than enough for windows uh, some files easy access files you know a few programs that you use regularly like office <laughs> if you use office that is I don't I don't even know why I said office there uh, your game launchers and then a couple of uh, couple of medium sized games that you play more regularly. Uh, the one terabyte drive can then just be used as a separate games drive uh, or just a larger volume of storage. Uh, so there are all the upgrades I'm going to make to this system. Uh, it's not cost a lot to bring the system up to par and I'm totaling for this system now at about £127 pounds, uh, I think. So that's not bad at all uh, and it's going to make a, a nice little uh, first PC for someone. I'll be listing this for £295, so we should make a nice little bit of profit as well. Uh, but before we do that, we need to test some games out on it, so let's roll the benchmarks.
So that's the benchmark results in and a bit of a mixed bag. Uh, it did better in games I thought it wouldn't than games that it did. But really the four cores of the 9100F are the limitation here. Uh, but being on the 8th and 9th gen platform it would be easy for the new owner uh, to upgrade to an i5 or an i7. Uh, i5 8500s can be picked up for about £35 uh, in the UK now and I will be offering that as an option uh, to the to the new owner of this system. Fortnite is just a bit of a write-off now for four core systems. Uh, it's actually more demanding than Call of Duty, Warzone, Apex Legends. I mean even The Last of Us uh, Part 1 performed better uh, than Fortnite did. Uh, so I don't know what's going on with that. Um, used to be able to run Fortnite on a a fourth gen i3 quite happily. A performance mode it did work uh, better. I mean most of the titles today uh, would benefit from having the FPS capped. Uh, the AAA titles capping the game to near 30 FPS, and those esports titles capping it to 60 FPS, uh, just to help smooth out those percentiles. As we just went for balls to the wall performance today. Um, but all in all, for, for what I paid for it, uh, I think it's a good little system. Uh, it looks smart. Uh, it's on an okay platform. It has the potential for some to some decent upgrades. Uh, and I think it will make its, uh, its new owner happy uh, for what I'm going to ask for it. So thank you for taking a look at this little system today. Thank you for watching the video. Uh, thank you for all your support as always, guys. Uh, you lot are awesome. Uh, if you haven't subscribed to the channel, maybe consider doing so to see some more great content like this. Please leave a like as always, it helps the channel out massively. Uh, I also really enjoy hearing what you guys write in the comments. Uh, take care as always, God bless and hopefully see you in the next one.